everyone, welcome back to the Bait Shop video series here at River Rock Inn and Bait Shop. So it's the end of November. I was hoping that uh, we could shoot a first ice video here in November, but you know, we got some really warm weather, had some ice around Thanksgiving, but all that ice is gone from around here in the Shawamigan Bay and in our uh, Inland Lake region here in Northern Bayfield and Ashland counties. So, I'm just going to put together a little piece here because the ice is coming and I thought we should talk about some new products that are out here on the market for this year that River Rock's going to be carrying and uh, you know stuff that is just of interest for us uh, anglers here out on the big lake and in our inland lakes uh, nearby. With that I'm going to start off though talking about a little bit of ice safety and uh, what we need to do to prepare ourselves for when we go out onto this first ice. Uh, you know, that's one of the most treacherous times of the year, uh, other than late ice, is when that first sheet of ice uh, lays down on any lake, uh, you know, because we don't know right away what the variability could be of ice thickness out on any lake that we go to or from lake to lake that we do venture out on. And especially out here on Lake Superior, um, that varying ice conditions uh, is pretty prevalent anywhere you go from Schwamgen Bay all the way up into the Apostle Islands when we go fish for lake trout. So ice safety is a number one priority for any of us before we even start heading uh, in our truck to get to the ice. So basically we just want to talk about the different steps of ice safety basically. First you want to know what is safe ice. Um, you know, for me, that's uh, three inches of good, solid, clear ice. That's uh, clear ice that you can basically see through. It's not ice that is milky, that may have mixed with snow if it was snowing out. Um, it's not uh, uh, any uh, mushy ice that, you know, where it warmed up and thawed and then refroze again. If it's that uh, thin, three inches, and that ice is like the latter two that I talked about, I'm not going to go out there. Um, so that's what I'm looking for when I'm first walking out, even on, uh, on inland lakes and uh, for Lake Superior here. For when I'm taking my uh, snowmobile out, as you can see, you know, I got a lot of gear, I'm pulling stuff, I've got a fish trap on the back, my auger, I'm usually towing some stuff, maybe having another angler. Um, first ice, when I'm taking my snowmobile, I usually don't take all that stuff. I go as light as possible and usually you know, for the most part, six inches is what I'm looking at. Six inches to take my snowmobiles out. And, uh, you know, that's about the same for the ATV. Snowmobile is a lot safer if you ask me for uh, first ice and that type of conditions. Um, again, that's that clear solid ice, not the milky or uh, slushy ice that you could see at time to time. Um, so knowing that before you get out onto the ice is important. Um, varying degrees of what's safe for ice thickness. Also, before you leave, you know, tell someone where you're going. If you don't tell someone, you know, just call them, leave a message, or write a note for your wife or girlfriend or uh, mom and dad, whoever you're with, uh, where you're going and how long you intend to stay. Because um, if something were to happen, and you know, if you were by yourself, you know, you want someone to come looking for you. Uh, but that brings up the next point. You know, first ice, always go with someone. Bring someone with you. Um, to venture out because uh, if something does happen, you want someone to help you. You know, yeah, you left a note, you're going by yourself, you got all the safety gear, but you know, if you fall through, um, it's gonna take a while before someone gets gets there, especially if they gotta try to call you to find out where you're at. So if you have a buddy or two buddies with you, you know, that's the best thing to do to be safe. And so that's the type of stuff you wanna, you know, plan ahead for before you even get to the lake. And uh, when you get to the lake, what are we going to do for ice safety? First and foremost is a life jacket. Um, I use these inflatable type suspenders, Cabela's, uh, Gander Mountain, Bass Pro Shops. Uh, they all make a good inflatable. This, I've tried it and it does work in really cold weather. Um, if you don't want to wear this, wear a regular life jacket or a float suit. Um, you know, these are what's going to keep you uh, you know, treading water for as long as you can, keep you buoyant, your head above water. Life jacket, number one. With that, number two, ice picks. Ice picks, so if you do go through, you're gonna bob up because of that, 
you're going to have these around your neck. You'll be able to pull them apart. You're going to stab into the ice so then you can climb out of the ice with that. Um, don't stand up right away. Keep, uh, keep your weight distri distributed, roll to the safe ice. If you can, get out by yourself. These ice picks are going to help you grab into the ice and, and make, make uh, the ordeal uh, hopefully last a lot less longer than uh, what, uh, what could be the outcome. So ice picks number two. Number three, a chisel. You want to uh, check that ice when you have that gear on. So if you stab in front of you, you're not, and it goes through in one poke, you know you don't, you don't want to step there, and then those things aren't going to be needed. So a good solid ice bar or ice chisel is something that you always need for first ice. Actually out here on Lake Superior, I never ever go fishing without an ice bar because out here the ice conditions change a lot. So I want to check often. This is right on the side of my snowmobiles. Before I even get off, I'm on the snowmobile and I check the ice because sometimes right there the ice could be different because of current or what have you. So number three, you got your spud bar or your ice chisel. Number four is a throwable. Why do I have this? For the buddy system. I carry one of these each on my snowmobile and in my fish houses during uh, first ice and I got about 75 feet of rope. And what's this for? In case the guy in front of me or the guy in back of me or the side of me goes through, I'm able to unwind this, throw the throwable to them. They're bobbing in the water because of the, because of the life jacket. They can't get out because ice around them is too thin. They're able to grab onto this, hold on, and I'm able to pull them out because of the rope and pull them out or even maybe hook it up to my snowmobile and pull to get them out and uh, get them back into, to safe rice. Um, so extremely important ice safety. Uh, we're coming into first ice. You got to be prepared. You got to be prepared for the worst and ice safety is the number one key before you venture out onto any ice and catch any fish. So now that we covered a little bit about that, let's talk about some new lures, some new equipment and all that kind of fun stuff here. And uh, as you can see behind me, I got quite a bit of it. So let's uh, talk about that stuff now. So this is the time of year we get to see all the new gizmos and gadgets that every company has uh, out on the market for the upcoming ice fishing season. It's no different at River Rock. We're just uh, replacing all of our inventory from summer to winter. And uh, we've got some cool new products. But the one good thing about River Rock is being local, we uh, stock products that work out here on the body of water, bodies of water that we fish, you know, from the Apostle Island, Shawamigan Bay to our inland lakes. Everything that we got in our shop is meant to be used out here. So with that, why don't we take a peek at some of the new stuff that we've got out on, the, out on our shelves for this year. Um, first off, I want to talk about probably the coolest uh, thing for us uh, lake trout fishermen and people that like to stay contained on our uh, machines, either snowmobile or ATV, or those people that don't have a truck and need space uh, to store stuff in their car. So we got the twin hub system from Clam. It's actually modeled on a hub shelter or ground blind system, but it only has two hubs. It's easy to put up, uh, easy to take down, it's very light, it's contained well. You've got a good storage bag like this, just like the teepees that we have around here. Um, fits easy on the back of a quad or fits really easy on a snowmobile. And it's probably one of the best uh, inventions for us up here on Lake Superior uh, for this year. Um, those shelters, the Twin Hub 2, which is a big one, which if you need a lot of space or you want to fish two people out of, is the one that you want to get. We're selling them right now for $149.99. Um, that price is, is unbelievable. And if you do buy it by December 20th, uh, River Rock is going to throw in a free Ice Armor uh, sweatshirt. Um, so the first four people that go in and uh, buy one of these, they're going to get one of these first, uh, free Ice Armor sweatshirts just like I'm wearing here. Um, Ice Armor is actually owned by Clam as well. So go in and check them out at uh, River Rock and, and uh, see what you think and uh, hopefully pick up a new uh, shelter for this winter. For electronics, Vexlar, um, not much new. We do, Vexlar does have the new Double Vision which incorporates a flasher and a camera. 
These can be special ordered uh, through River Rock. Currently not uh, carrying them in stock, but um, kind of want to see what kind of uh, demand there is. These do work really well for whitefish. Uh, I used them last year. Seeing that you have the camera here, you can see the fish, but with the flasher incorporated right in it and keeping it in contained, I can see the fish coming first on the flasher and then know to look down at the camera after that. And being contained, it's a lot more portable than carrying both um, in your sled or something like that. So, and the case is made rugged so it doesn't break. So Vexlar Double Vision. Um, and not new, uh, it was new last year, is the uh, Vexlar FL20 Pro Pack 2 Edition with the Tri-Beam Deucer. It's got three different uh, transducers right in one. You got a nine degree for deep water lake trout. You got the, you got the 20 degree transducer that's really good for around the lighthouse area or inland lakes when you're fishing for panfish. And then you got the 12 degree transducer that works really good uh, maybe, you know, any, any type of depth, but uh, when you get in real deep water, that 9 degree works good. You get in big flat areas, that 20 works good. So, um, FL20, uh, it goes at 300 feet. It's made for this deep water up here when we're lake trout fishing. Maxed out with the tri-beam transducer, it's great for out here. Um, regular, regular, these are $548.99. And we're selling them right now for $529.95. Um, so if you come in, buy that. We'll also throw in a free Vexlar hat with, with the purchase. So it's a great deal. Um, also new, which is kind of cool that, that, that we're carrying this year. Everyone's heard of Beaver Dam tip-ups, I'm sure. Uh, Beaver Dam has been around for a long time. And it's uh, been a staple in Wisconsin uh, for a long time. Um, just because they made such great tip-ups and uh, River Rock did something pretty cool. You know, packer season is going really well this year. Um, so they got some tip-ups uh, directly made for us Wisconsin Packer fans. The green and green and gold tip-up Beaver Dam is probably one of the smoothest tip-ups out on the market. Uh, works great out here, you know, because we have a lot of big predator fish and so you want a real smooth spool for when the fish is burning offline. Um, yep, Packer uh, green and gold. So uh, come in, stop and get your Packer uh, Beaver Dam. Uh, you buy one of these, the deal that they're giving is buy one of these and you get your second one $10 off. So pretty good deal on, on a really good quality tip-up. Um, other than that, just some uh, new products out on the market and then after that I'll show you the Twin Hub 2 and how it sets up and takes down. Um, the one thing I want to mention is Jason Mitchell uh, rods. I'm sure, you've seen them if you stopped into the into the shop. This year is a new 38-inch uh, medium action spinning reel. Really good for people that like to fish outside for brown, splake, uh, steelhead, that type of stuff. It's got a real sensitive tip, but a good backbone to fight these big fish out here. Um, you know, this is a Jason Mitchell reel, but you can put it on any reel. It doesn't come in a combo. But if you're looking for a new rod and you fish outside a lot, check out this new Jason Mitchell Elite Series 38-inch uh, walleye rod. But it is a medium action, really good rod. Uh, line, some cool new line out on the market right now. Um, Bionic braid from Northland. I, I use braid uh, exclusively for out here. And then uh, Bionic Ice Floral Silk um, comes in various... Uh, pound test sizes, stuff is great for wintertime use. Um, and keeping on with new line, uh, Berkeley came out with a new line, Berkeley Nano Fill um, is <laughs> superb um, for this ice fishing. It's a uh, smaller diameter than Fireline, if you could believe it, and it works, it sheds uh, ice really good. I used it last winter, works great. So those are some new options in line. Um, a new bait that we're carrying in the shop, this Uncle Josh uh, bait is great. It's got a big heavy head. This is two ounce. You got them one ounce, two ounce, three ounces. But the cool thing about it is the hook moves. And with lake trout, that's a huge thing. They're fighting hard and they roll a lot. So that moving hook is going to be cool for us lake trout fishing uh, out here. So check out the new uh, Uncle Josh swing hook bucktail. We got a lot of these in, in stock. Those are going to work good. 
And two other things real quick. Clam came out with this handy little light um, for us that get to the truck, uh, get to the ice earlier and leave late. You know, it's something that we can fit in our pocket. It's got a magnet on it. It's also got a little hook. It's got lights in the front, lights here. Fits in the pocket, great, handy little tool. It's uh, priced right too. And uh, the coolest thing is an insulated, spill-proof minnow bucket. You know out here, all our minnows usually spill around all the time when we're making long runs. So if we got a sealed compartment here, seal them in, flip it over, no water is going to drain. Uh, just remember when you get to the spot, flip it open, let them get some air. But another cool product from Clam that uh, is new and is going to rock the ice this year. So. Those are some of the products that are new for this year and stuff that we're carrying in the shop or that you can special order. Um, so stop in and uh, you know keep an eye on our website and our Facebook page uh, so you can see of any more deals. The deals I mentioned are good through December 20th and you gotta come to the store to get it. So I'll end here um, showing you how to take, take down the twin hub and putting it up and uh, showing you the features on that. So we'll see you on the ice and uh, Stay tuned because early in December I'll have a first ice episode. So thanks again and uh, we'll see you soon.